What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode here at Trailmaster. So today, we actually have a special episode for you guys. Look, we got a bunch of ZR2s out here. So today, Mr. Todd from Magnuson actually brought a ZR2, and it's the first of its kind. So it's a supercharged ZR2. So it's only right we brought a couple of our boys out. Mr. Mo and Mr. Crush Groove came out. They've been driving their ZR2s now for a couple years. So rather than me give you like how I feel about it, because it's probably going to feel awesome, I'm going to give you guys some real ZR2 owners. They've had them for a very long time. We're going to have them test drive it. So Crush Groove is completely stock, and so is the one we're going to be testing. So we'll just kind of, you know, give them a couple ribs, see what it feels like, give them, you know, let them tell us how they feel about it and if it's even worth it. So I just finished the, uh, supercharging the Gladiator and it's been fun for a full whole day. I can only imagine um, the ZR2 is supposed to have more power from factory too. It's supposed to be one of the peppier midsize trucks. So adding 120 horsepower should uh, make a big difference. So we're going to let them sit in the driver's seat give them a couple rips and uh yeah we'll see how it feels but we're gonna talk to todd first from magnuson have him give us kind of the deets and the specs of that setup and then uh we'll go from there all right mr todd tell us a little bit about this setup hey man this is our new colorado supercharger system okay. it's uh based on the tvs 1900 rotating group the one you've got in the jeep as well okay uh we use that rotating group in a lot of our v6 applications actually okay um the the colorados are great trucks obviously everybody knows like they make good power to begin with right but by throwing our new tvs 1300 uh, tvs 1900 on it um it, it bumps it up to 430 plus horsepower how long have you guys had the system on the truck okay so this is our development truck george so we've okay. had it for i mean we've had the truck for like a year okay and it's been supercharged you know for the bulk of it okay so um we had it out here now in ventura because we're going through the emissions testing correct to uh to gain carb compliance on it so so is this uh is this kit now on the market or is it you know it's available shop now. For it? yep. okay. it's available now it's not carb compliant so you Unfortunately, you can't buy it yet for okay. a California registered vehicle, but um, it is uh, SEMA um, garage tested. So okay. that's kind of the federal side. Right. And then hopefully in the next six months or so, we'll have it for California too. But mm. yeah, it's available now. It's seventy one ninety five. Nice. So it's giving you what, like 140-ish? It's like a 43% increase okay. in horsepower and torque. So it's like 439 and 413. Okay. And um, I mean, if you look at the power graphs on uh, the website, they're identical except they're just way, way higher yeah. yeah it's it's pretty rad so one thing i did notice on uh this setup it looks very similar to the jeep so like you said it is a 1900 unit yeah um honestly it's it's a pretty easy install i did the gladiator as you guys have seen now and this looks even easier it looks like you have a little bit more room to play but uh todd so uh this is your first time driving it here or you've been driving it for a while now so no actually i brought it uh home okay. last night from ventura um so that was the first drive last night. This will be the first time. So impressions day. from this and the Jeep, what like what would you say? It's I mean it it it's got some it's got some, it's got some it. yeah, yeah if you, okay if you want it it's there. Yeah. Um, well this is also on stock tires where the Jeep yeah, is on this a is bigger 100 tire. Yeah, percent stock. Yeah. yeah. Whereas our Gladiator, it, you know, it's yeah. it's got some weight added to yeah. it. It's got obviously tire suspension and that's I mean that's how guys are using the Colorados too. Yeah. They probably have a little you know more of a mixed use and this is the zr2 variation right so it's the you know just a basic 20 yeah. what 2022 i think it's 21 actually. 21 okay um because uh yeah we we've been working on the project for a while but okay. we actually didn't buy the truck until we were a little ways in nice it. that's awesome yeah so yeah you guys know uh it takes tons of engineering to get something like this to pull off and work correctly especially because they're trying to chase the car bo for california which is probably like one of the toughest things to do out here nowadays uh but the zr2 is there it's ready and then we also have crush groove so we do have most truck here too but since his has modifications to suspension and whatnot we're going to keep his out of the picture these two are basically identical same motor same power plant um so that's what we're going to do we're going to test these two out and then uh see what these guys back there have to say about them so we'll talk to them let them introduce themselves and then uh yeah we'll go in and have some fun let's go uh what's up my name is alfred i'm crush groove zr2 i'm here representing uh, the gm special and battle ready rig i got 2021 colorado zr2 everything's stock bone stock stock motor stock suspension um the only thing i've changed is the tires other than that how long have you had it i've had it about three years okay how many miles did you put on it yet? so far i'm at forty-three thousand. Forty-three thousand. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, years, we've gone some paces. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, he's actually been with us a couple times. Have you had any issues with your ZR2? Um, other than tires popping here and there, not really. No, not really. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's a good, dependable, reliable. All right. So you excited good. to see what 125 or 140 horsepower yeah, feels? Yeah, I'm excited to push that. See what we could do with it. And, uh, 
see how, how quick my credit cards fill up trying to, trying to get one of those. <laughs> right on, man. Well, thank you for coming out. Right, I'm excited to let you uh, drive it, and uh, let's go talk to Mo. All right, so our second driver, talk to us. Hey, my name is Mo. My baby right here, 2021 Chevy Colorado CR2. Got a bone stock, fresh off the dealer. Uh, done a few things to it. Tires, rims, roof racks, uh, two-inch lift from Peaks. All How long have stuff. you actually had it? Like the I've ownership? Been having it since 2001. 2001, so, so three years almost. Three years. Yeah. Uh, I got almost close to 60,000 miles on it. Okay, so 20 more than Crush Groove. Okay, yeah, you've I, had it one year. One year longer. So that makes sense. Yeah, this baby's been to Colorado. Big, like just done uh, Black Bear Pass. Okay. So I'm satisfied with my little truck. Nice. Uh, Horsepower, not so good, but we're gonna find out right now with that magnifier. Have you regeared or done anything power wise to your truck? Nope. No? Okay. Everything, everything's completely solid. So, driving a 140 horsepower more ZR2, we'll see. We'll see how you feel about it, man. But I'm excited. Thank you, Mo, for coming out. I mean, you've been, you've been part of the channel for a while now. So, yeah, I'm happy to share it with you, man. Let's get it. Alrighty team, so we had to switch the location. The last place we were at was too too rutted, just too nasty for the trucks. This place is a little bit softer. So this is kind of where you really want some power to have some fun. So we're gonna paper rock scissors to see who's gonna drive first. All right, boys, let's get it. The SoCal hurricane ruined our trail. Paper rock, oh, dude, oh yeah, my three. God, what? One, two. Oh. <laughs> All right, group, so you're gonna go first. Let's, let's ease into it first. Just kind of like drive it nice and smooth. And then we'll hit it and give these guys a show. How does that initial like first pedal does it feel different at all? It does. A little bit more responsive. Okay. A little, this is like a hair, I want to say. Not not anything crazy. Okay. But nothing drastic yet. Okay. But you see, no, dude. My bad. My bad. Safety first. Oh, Lord, my God. Stop. Let me stop. Let me dang. Stop. Let me stop. I'm, I was ready for a quick escape. Uh, all right. Oh, wow. Yeah, I like this. <laughs> yeah? It's a big yeah. difference? Yeah, wow. Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's strong. It's strong. Yeah. You can feel and that's it. not yeah, now you're barely feathering. And like a lot of reserve. You can feel that. Yeah. I'm barely tapping the pedal and it's already kind of Yeah, okay. So right now when it strains out, just like let it eat, okay? Oh yeah. Yeah, it just keeps going and going. I haven't I'm nervous to let it keep going. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I mean, I obviously, we're respectful because it's not our yeah, truck, it's not but... Yeah, right, but, hey, it's kind of... Hey, he let me drive, dog. <laughs> he knows who I am, though. <laughs> he doesn't know who you are. Oh, shit. <laughs> Damn, scary power. <laughs> like, I want to keep going, but it's like... I don't know if I have enough road to slow down after. See, we have enough driver, huh? <laughs> I got, I got. <laughs> we have the power of the road, just not enough for the drivers all there. It's time, to start, start, time to start collecting some cans, dog. Dog, I'm going to be at the beach every weekend <laughs> with a metal detector. <laughs> hey, whatever it takes, dude. <laughs> all right, I'm going to uh, let Mo shit his pants a little bit. Dude, that's it, man. Dog, dog this thing should come with diapers. <laughs> all right, diapers man. and a credit application. All right, man. Uh, awesome. Crush crew, give me some final remarks, man, for the people. It's awesome. Get one as um, soon as you can. Put it on your build list. Uh, it does make a big difference. It makes a gigantic power boost. So, uh, yeah, yeah, let's do this. All right. Ready, <laughs> All right, team. So, Groove just drove the truck. And honestly, it, it got swirly on him quite a bit. Um, the power delivery is just there. It is a lot different than feeling like an average truck. Even just driving my truck, um, the ZR2 scoots, man. He doesn't have the big tires slowing him down or anything. So, it just kind of moves. Um, so, now we're going to let Mo rip it up a little bit and see how he feels about it. Mo, are you excited? You ready? Oh, yeah, very dude, excited. Don't kill me, dude. Oh, Crush Groove was, I'll try Crush Crew was nervous, bro. I'll, I'll Crush Groove was nervous. So, right. we're going to gradually work ourselves into it just like we did with Crush Groove. But we're going to let Mo have some fun. Let's go. All righty, Mo. I'm going to let it eat a little bit here. You can kind of stretch it here a little bit. And then once the turns come, obviously slow it down. All right, give me some initial impressions. So I'm not even touching the pedal, but... It's moving. It's moving. Yeah. I'm not even touching the pedal. I'm not, I'm not like in my truck that I'm like halfway there. Yeah. And just picking it up. But I mean, then again, I do have 30... 30 yeah, your tire is a lot bigger, so it's a little bit different. I mean, not a lot bigger, but... Just the power delivery from what you remember yours being stock like this. Ooh. How does this feel? Oh my God, light, smooth. Just like if I was in my RX-7. So go that way. I mean, even the sound just is cool. Can I get a free one? <laughs> oh, 
let it eat here a little bit. See the smile? I don't know, dude. The power is there. Yeah. I'll tell you that. The power is there. Just step on it, it's sick. It, it, it responds. It responds. Yeah. So beautiful. <laughs> all right well so give, give us some like last impressions and like people that have the r2s what, what i mean now that you felt it a lot of people don't go with the magnuson right away you know they think about okay let me do everything else before we add power um how do you feel now that you know you've driven one that has a supercharger it has power oh man throttle's there i'll tell you that yeah so uh do you recommend people with the ZR2 to have to get one? Yeah, I'm getting or divorced pretty soon. <laughs> does it, let me ask you, does it feel high strung? Does it feel like you're like, oh, this thing's like harder to drive or it's oh, temperamental it's, or like, I nope. don't know, this is, a, this is a, like I'm compromising. No, this is this is Betty right here. <laughs> this is Betty, real smooth. Uh, acceleration is there on the on the, on the the pedal. Uh, notice the response is quicker than I thought, better than the ones we drive now. So, <laughs> but yeah, it's there, lighter, smoother. Uh, it responds real quick to to your foot pedal. Nice, sweet. Right. Well, thanks for coming out, Mo. Like, Appreciate you, you. Thank you for inviting us. It's all it, it's all Todd and Magnus and man. We're just happy to be able to share this with you guys. Let's go break some bank accounts, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Turn it off. Let it cool down for a little bit. All right, There's Todd. First of all, you just drove my man. <laughs> My very disappointed <laughs> man. <laughs> he's like, I'll get a new truck. He's like, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm like, Mo, listen, I, I don't want to wreck your stuff. He's like, no, no, we'll make it right. <laughs> <laughs> so now that you've driven one that is actually modified, bigger tires, obviously doesn't have the power. I mean, tell us. I mean, you you obviously driven the ZR2 that's supercharged, but give sure. us like a true um, feel for <laughs> one that's actually been. So, so like, you know, my. My feeling is confirmed as far as the factory powertrains. You know, it's not junk. It's, it's got... <laughs> <laughs> Mo, needs a, Mo needs a moment, man. Yeah. Um, it's you know, it's it's there's there's vehicles out there that would be jealous of the power that oh, they yeah, have of stock. You know, Toyota, Toyota. But. For sure, like coming through the sand and the whoops, yeah. like the transmission's hunting for yeah, the power. For the power, it, it's, it's looking for the power curve. Yeah. Um, whereas, obviously, with the supercharger, it's it's there. So right. like, it just sticks with the gear and it goes. Yeah. Um, and then just yeah, even through the deep sand, uh, it's, it's <laughs> you, know, you know again, it's 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 hurting it because yeah you can't carry the speed and so once you start dropping speed you just sink it just it, starts sinking in yeah. and then it starts working harder and harder yeah whereas with with, with the, the extra power I yeah mean, you're able to maintain that and, and Skip over almost it. stay on top of it yeah yeah yeah. and I honestly without even driving it i, I yeah. could see how like the lack of power responsive when it gets really soft it just yeah like you said you're just gonna dig in yeah now it's cool i appreciate it because it's it's a bit of a spot for us because when we when 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 we're done engineering them, you know you never you can't go back. Right. So you have a you have a hard time you know always having that first comparison stock versus right versus supercharged. Okay, so now we're gonna do is uh, we'll line both of them up together, and we'll just do like zero sixty or not even sixty is too much. We'll just do like a quick pull from here to there. You drive the blue one, you drive yours, and just put it in four low, uh, four high. <laughs> Traction and then just we'll just do like a hundred feet just to see right. the difference and like right at right at the rip. Right okay. Right yeah. Three, two, one, go. All 
All right, team, so everybody got to drive the rig. Um, honestly, stock ZR2 Magnus and Dup is kind of incredible. It drives well. I was doing about 80 through the wash and just, he was soaking it up. It is scary um, having the rear locked, kind of having the back end swing out a lot. Um, you do have to kind of know what you're doing, um, but it's very tempered. That ZR2 actually does really well. I'm actually now a fan of a ZR2. Um, that power plant and how it handles in its stock form is actually pretty impressive. So it's really cool to see it. I'm glad that Mo and Crush Groove and Tundra Vic got to drive it so they can experience something that's brand new. That's the very first one. So um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. We're going to have Todd break down um, their giveaway and then we'll close out the video. But appreciate you guys sticking around. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this and we'll bring you some more Magnus and stuff. Maybe a Toyota next. Uh, we'll bring out Tundra Vic's and maybe the new 2650 and uh, we'll go from there, man. Let's get it. All right, Todd. So you, everybody drove the rig. Everybody He's very impressed with the ZR2 that's supercharged. Um, I know we have a program going on through Magnus and Supercharged. Do you want to talk, tell the people about it? Yeah, we're uh, we're heading into the final stretch of our summer six liter giveaway, and I know summer has now passed us by, but uh, the the process has been really enjoyable, and we've tried to make some content and videos for the first time in a long time on our new YouTube channel. So um, it's it's been good. We've had a good time doing it. The motor is just phenomenal. We we're even impressed with what what it's doing uh you were you and i were talking a little right. earlier it's almost 800 horsepower yeah so it's an 800 horsepower ls motor with a blower um tell the people what they have to do to like enter try to win and all the above so yeah so we're giving this away okay. we just dropped uh our most recent video yesterday on our youtube channel and goes... which by the way won't be yesterday because this is filmed <laughs> yeah. ahead of time sorry so it'll be on their youtube video but a little more a couple more things coming along in the series okay. uh, we just talked about in the most recent video the cost everything that went into the motor so check it out i mean it's pretty unbelievable dollar per horsepower but yeah it's a six liter L96 with our 2300 hot rod supercharger on it and 774 horsepower and 746 foot pounds. Of nice. Power. And there's a, a, a variety of entries, right? There's a free entry, yeah. there's a t shirt. So you can buy the t shirt, which is our new it's Blowing Mines t shirt. Yeah. See the back. Um, blowing Mines. Pretty dope. Uh, since yeah. 1970, a little bit of our heritage nice. is, is the look. And then if you go to our website and um, you can just sign up, just by signing up, you get one entry. You can post to Instagram using the hashtag Magnus and Blowing Minds, and you can, you know, you can show your your rig. You can do whatever. You, it, there's there's no hard guideline there, right. but you know, putting out the word. You can um, like, subscribe. You can watch the videos. So there's like five ways to nice. enter. All of them are free. The T-shirt's the only optional purchase. Yeah. But that gets you three entries. So. Nice. Well, thank you, Todd, for bringing out the ZR2. Obviously, we all had a lot of fun with it. Shout out to Magnuson for uh, bringing this out and letting us drive it. That is the first of its kind. If you guys have any questions, comment below, let us know. Or reach out to Mo or Crush Groove if you want, like, real answers, I guess. Because, you know, whatever. <laughs> but uh, thank you, Todd, for coming out. Appreciate you and uh, Tundra Vic. Maybe next time they bring a 2650 and we drive that against yours. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, man. Well, that pretty much wraps it up here, man. Thank you again. Again, go join in. Try to win it. It would be super sick if one of our viewers actually won it, and then we figure out where to put it in. And honestly, we'll bring the whole group together. We'll make a big filming out of it, and uh, we'll drop it into something goofy that just will make it fly. You know, we'll put some 31-inch tires or something and just kind of rip it. So we do have a Kia in the lineup. We have a Tundra Vic's Previa. He has a Previa. Maybe we'll even throw it in a Toyota, piss everybody off. I don't know. We'll do something cool with it, man. But go check out MagnusSuperchargers.com. Check out all the entries. Buy a t-shirt. These t-shirts are super cool. And um, yeah, join in, man. You never know. You never know. All it takes is one one vote, one win, uh, one chance to win. And you could probably come out with this $10,000 motor. So it would be sick. Again, thank you again. Thank you to Mo, Vic, everybody that came out to film this video. Appreciate you guys. And we'll do more stuff like this. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Follow us on Instagram, YouTube, Patreon, all that good stuff. We are chasing 10K. So share this with somebody else that hasn't subscribed. And if you haven't either, hit that sub button. Appreciate you. And we'll see you next time.